Okay, song two. I mean, the first song for German Snatcher Selection, I have to say, wow, we had a great start. It's way better than the last several songs that I picked throughout the Eurovision. And I have to say, I I remember Cascade in 2013. That was a great song with Glorious. I still listen to that song almost 10 years later. And people are going to say, what's her? It wasn't your phone or your copycat. I was like, no. Th those of us who grew up with Cascada back in 2004 or 5, that's the sound of Cascada. So she was robbed. They were robbed in 2013. Let's head to the next one. Frida Gold, Alle Frauen in mir, die sind müde. Featuring Afra Rubino. I, I took six years in German in school. I don't remember a word of it. So I don't know. Hopefully we have translation to this one. No, let's see. Frida Gold. Okay, very different intro than the first one. Very low key Spanish guitar ish. Oh, okay. Very nice, very nice. I don't know, I have not even heard the song yet, but it feels like to me the song that Germany should send to come back with your vision with a bang is a song that is a bang. I don't think, I don't think low-key songs that are very low-key ballad, nice ballads are the thing that should send to come back to the glory of your vision again. I think they should come with a, a banging pop song. That's just my opinion. Sorry. Let's see Frida Gold. Alle Frauen in mir sind müde. Müde, okay. Sie waren viel zu lange wach. But she has a great voice, this Frida Gold. Alle Frauen in mir sind müde. Okay. Vor allem in der Nacht. Alle Frauen in mir sind müde. Ihre Haut. I mean, it's very sultry, very long. I want to dance. I mean, I want to have someone to dance with to this song. Maybe do a little rumba or something. This is a pretty song. I mean, I still, I think this is a very good entry, but uh, but this to me is background, back, a background song to me. Sorry. And still, like a very nice, very nice movie score to me. I mean, this is a song I think uh, I can have in the background on radio. Turn it up and let me uh, do the vacuum, do the cleaning and all that. It's a very nice song. I think the instrumental part of this song is gorgeous. It's very glorious. Like, like I said, the instrumental is, is I mean, the thing is that I I don't think this is a bad song. Not at all. This is not a bad song. But for me, I'd be like, I struggle to connect with the song, like in the studio version. But I don't know how she sings this live. If she sings it with so much passion and so much intensity in her eyes, I can fall over heels in love with the song. This is song. This is a good radio song. This is a good radio song. This is a very nice song. But to me, I was like, is this a winner? Mm, maybe not. But with the live performance and some intense singing from her, she could change my mind. This is old school. Old school in a good way. Mm. 
Gleichberechtigung hinterher. Ich kenne nichts, was so ist. Nein, ich kenne nichts, was so ist. I feel passion, I feel sadness within everything in this one. I mean, I have to say the first. I don't know. I uh, I don't know about this song. This song is a maybe for me at the moment because I feel the passion. I feel the sand. I feel so much for this song. But I'm wondering if I'm gonna love it, love it more when I see the live performance because at the moment I love the instrumental part of the song, but I don't think this is a winner for me at this moment. At this moment, maybe not a winner yet, but. With uh, a staging and a live performance from her, and I, I, I have a feeling she can be very intense. Mm. This can be very good live. So anyway, don't hate on me because I don't see a winner in this right away. Don't do it. Anyway, thank you.